this is the room that was occupied by the beloved guardian when he used to come over and spend the night in Badgie, which he did quite often when he was making the gardens and beautifying the whole property here. That is the bed that he occupied. Above the bed is the genealogy of Baha'u'llah, all in his own handwriting. Above that is one of the early designs for the first Mashakalas car in the West, which happens to have been done by W.S. Maxwell, the hand of the cause, who designed the uh, superstructure of the shine of the Bob. And Shoghi Fendi placed this original design of his here in this position. Above that are two of the beautiful birds of paradise of Meshkin Ghalam, and in this whole room, you see things that are of great historic interest. On that side of the wall is a picture of the greatest holy leaf drawn from life by a very well-known American portrait painter, Daisy Smythe. This is the picture of Abdu'l-Bahá in his youth, and it was taken at the same time as the only photograph that we have of Baha'u'lláh it was taken in Adrianople before he left on the final stage of his imprisonments and exiles to uh, come to the Holy Land. You see, this room of Shoghi Effendi, which he used to sleep in when he came over to the mansion, is exactly opposite the room of Baha'u'llah. Baha'u'llah's room is in the eastern corner, and Shoghi Effendi's room is in the western corner of the mansion. When the guardian came over here, he did something that I think will be a great comfort to many people who live simply. He used to tell me, I'm going to Badgie to spend the night. And he would walk out of the house with his toothbrush in his pocket and get into his automobile and come over here. And sometimes he stayed here as long as four or five days. And it was just as simple as that. This hall of the mansion is one of the most beautiful parts of this building, which is in itself unique architecturally in this part of the Middle East. And the Guardian put very many wonderful things here on exhibition to add to its charm and its dignity. It became a sort of a little Baha'i museum. These are very, very precious relics of the past. Shoghi Fendi placed the two headstones of the graves of Baha'u'llah's wife, the mother of Abdul Baha, and of Baha'u'llah's beloved son, the purest branch who was killed through falling through the skylight on the roof of the prison of Akka during the two-year period Baha'u'llah was imprisoned there. And Shoghi Fendi exhumed their bodies. Later on, we will be able to visit their monuments in Haifa and see with what glory they finally came to rest on Mount Carmel. But when he exhumed their bodies prior to removing their remains to Mount Carmel, he had these things put here as of historic and precious interest to the Baha'is. So we have these two headstones. Then we have something very wonderful and very touching. We have the coffin in which the mother of Abdul Baha had been laid to rest in the cemetery outside Akka. When Shoghi Fendi, with his own hands, went to exhume these precious remains, he got into the graves and himself took them out and placed them in new coffins with the greatest of respect and brought them to Haifa in the vicinity of the shrine of the Bab on Mount Carmel prior to their interment in the garden close to the remains of the greatest holy leaf, Bahia Khan. On this wall, we have a picture of one of the martyrs of the Bobby times. In other words, the killing of one of the Baha'is in the period of the Bab published 
in a Russian book. On this wall, below this bookcase that has a great many Braille translations of the Baha'i writings, we have the famous Mesquito Mosque in Cordoba, Spain. Over here, we have the holy city of Jerusalem. This was to show how sacred this city is in the eyes of the Baha'is and also in the eyes of the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians. This is a very interesting thing that the Guardian has done here. He has placed the Faramon, the order for the execution of the Bab, on this wall, and below it he has put the commanding officer of the regiment that actually fired the shot and killed the Bab. And then, opposite this, deliberately, the Guardian conceived the idea of placing the first local spiritual assemblies of Latin America, assembly by assembly. And he was very, very happy over their formation. It was part of the first seven-year plan. And he said that this commanding officer could look at the result of his work what had come about from the execution of the Baal. Aside from the pictures of the Baha'i Temple in Wilmette in the United States, on this wall there's something again that calls to our attention the fact that the Baha'is believe in all the sacred religions of the world and respect them, because this is a very important place in the Baha'i world, a place of pilgrimage. Now, Shoghi Fendi, the guardian, placed on the wall picture of the holy city of Medina, and on the left, the Kaaba in Mecca, the place of pilgrimage for all the Muslims in the world. And he put here the shrine of the Bab, with its architect, W.S. Maxwell, a Canadian Baha'i. He had this beautiful early photograph of the monument of the greatest holy leaf. And the rest of the room, as you can see, was very beautifully decorated. And this was the actual style of the building in the days when it was purchased for Baha'u'llah towards the end of his life. Baha'u'llah's room opened onto this secluded court on the balcony where he could enjoy privacy. The colored glass screen and marble fountain made it cool and shady in summer and protected from the rain in winter. Below it is one of the loveliest gardens in Badji.